Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Chit Chat with Brit Brat. Um, and today we're basically going to talk about plus size dating and my experience doing so and just carrying yourself well, I guess, and um, just being confident. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, regardless of the fact, plus size, not plus size, a guy's going to like what he's going to like. You understand? And... You know, if you carry yourself like, listen, you can like it, you cannot, but you take pride in how you look and you take pride in, you know, just carrying yourself well, whether it's the things that fit you appropriately, whether it's, you know, just, okay, so for me, I'm going to just go for me. I can't really, I don't want to say general and then I don't really hit or touch or whatever. So for me, um, I'm a plus size woman. I'm 26. And um, I've been plus size for probably like all of my life. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, I don't remember the whole when I was younger situation, of course, but uh, for most of my life. And um, I've go, I've gone through things where like, you know, I've, I'm on my like trying to lose weight and, you know, just for healthy reasons. It's never to like be like or what we see in the media today. That's not the case. Um, but if I'm on my like, no, it's my healthy streak um, because I've actually lost a lot of weight, um, mainly just starting with the whole drinking water. Um, you drink water, you um, eat smaller portions and just portion control and just monitor making sure you eat breakfast like all of that stuff play into part you understand and um if it's for health reasons and reasons that you want to for your health because i had like problems on my feet and like i was just going through it and i was just like listen if i want to get i gotta start somewhere and um that's basically it but um as far as confidence you have to wear that like it's an outfit like it's your first day of school every day like you put on whatever you want to wear every day of the week, for the month, for the year. You have a little pin on your, like, a little brooch or, like, a little, your cufflinks. You have to wear your confidence like that. You understand? Um, and regardless to the fact, whether guys front or uh, don't front, <laughs> Everybody love my little big girl. I mean, you may have some that's like, no, uh, I don't do the big girls. And, and that's fine. You can like what you like and you cannot like what you like. But you're not going to disrespect me. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And, you know, most guys, the way you carry yourself, and how can you expect someone to love you if you don't love you? You know, you know what you deserve. You know what you don't deserve. Um, if you're currently in a relationship where you're battling, um... Listen, some things mama ain't going to take. Some things, you know, I could work with you through a little mistakes, but I can't be anybody's fool. Um, and I'm not going to lie. I've I've been that. You know, I've had my days where it's like, bread. like, I, looking back on it, like, what was you thinking? Like, what? But that's another uh, story down. But anyway, um, so, yes. Um, and I'm also a type of person, like, I am, like, pfft, like deep and serious about like hygiene and stuff and like you know you just want to make sure down there always smells good and refreshed and um yeah like that shit is just first of all it's not a good feeling i want to be able to get up from my seat and all us big girls plus size women we know when i talk about this when you get up from your seat that's the one of my biggest fears is like getting up from a seat and like having like an odor left behind and then somebody like smelling it or like busted i'm in the bathroom and then somebody goes in right after me like that's my biggest fear so like i'm always just or at least i try to be a thousand and three ten percent especially if i'm going to somebody's house if it's like i'm spending the night at a friend's house male or female whatnot i just you know for me it's just yeah I, you know i walk with my different things um um, what's the call? I don't use any Summer's Eve products. I'm sorry, but they don't work. Like, I've heard that from my GYN. More than one GYN doesn't work. And so, I'll, you'll never caught me. Caught, you'll never catch me dead with that. Just saying. Um, yes, and mostly the, all the hygiene products, like, oh, the badges, that don't work. I mean, I've seen some YouTube videos when people talk about using them, and, you know, that's really like them. But... Listen, I heard firsthand because I'll be like, listen, what can I do? What can I do? What can I don't do? Douching, that's not good. Um, 
as far as being like healthy and stuff like that's not good because i forgot what the reason was but they didn't have to tell me twice because i wasn't really into the sticking and yeah that's not me but anyway so yeah and um oh if you like my nails guys the color is called mango tango and these are um mood changing so like they're yellow i got it on my toes too look yeah i can't do that <laughs> <laughs> but um i got on my toes and they're yellow but then like when i'm like hot or if it's like heat or something oh i'm being cold i think i'm it's hot it's yellow when it's hot but then when it gets cold or whatnot it turns orange like an orangey pumpkin type um my boo actually gave me that idea when i was like oh i want yellow nails but yellow is summertime and it's about to be full he was like why don't you get orange and i was like hmm i want yellow and orange thanks babe so that kind of helped but um yeah so anyway that was about my nails but anyway going back to topic at hand yes and um you know yeah like you know um how you do i mean how you act plays a part in it as well because like for myself i am into okay let me tell you my type <laughs> since we talk about dating let me tell you my type my type don't judge me y'all please don't judge me but my type is a dark skin dude who is taller than me you have to be taller. i mean you don't have to because you know what you know what you don't have to be taller than me because i'm actually somebody who's not taller than me and that was like the love of my life so i don't even want to say that but the goal is for you to be taller than me and dark skin and i like them ugly judge me if you want but i like them ugly i don't want to be having a chris brown and I'm right. I don't want no Chris Browns and I don't want no genuines and I don't want no I just I'm good like I ain't trying to battle fight and not saying that those are the only type but I'm just saying like I'm nah I'm like um my friends know give me black chocolate like purple black type dude ugly that's what I want that's what I like and that's just me <laughs> but um yes you know Confidence plays a big thing. I, I said that already, but I just want to go over it again. So confidence plays a big thing. You understand what I'm saying? Every day you walk out your house, you walk with your head held high. You keep it pushing. And you know what I'm saying? And I'm also the type where I kind of like match energies. So like if I feel like I'm giving too much, I'm pulling back. Just because I don't want nobody ever to feel like, oh, she, oh, she on it. She, yeah, no, nah, I'm good. You know what I mean? I'm on it just as bad as you want it, but not that much. And I'm not talking about it. I'm talking about, like, as far as the us communicating thing type goes. And, um, yeah, like, I'm not, I don't do the whole stressing. I ain't stressing, forcing nothing. I ain't trying to be stressed or forced. And, um, I just move different. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I have a lot of cousins, and I am. I'm Pisces, so you know we sometimes play the field, um, and you know we love hard. So if I'm if I'm if them feelings are starting to come out, and I see that it's not reciprocated the same way, yeah, my fallback game is real strong. And if, especially if we didn't start out that way, oh yeah, now nah, I'm keeping it where it is. And you have to tell me that you want something more, just because I don't like doing too much. Like I really try to not do too much because I don't want nobody feeling nothing. And they hard deep down inside. So somebody will read on bad terms. Yeah, but you were stressing. Nah, that's a dub. I won't. I will try not to give you that platform to say that. But that's me. Um, also dating. I am, and you know, I am a pretty much upfront person. Like if I'm not comfortable with something, I kind of will tell you. Um not rude because you know i'm really big on delivery it's not what you say it's how you say it so you can say what you have to say get your point across and not be disrespectful like that's not a hard thing to do or it shouldn't be if you're an adult you know what i'm saying and um yeah that's really much pretty much it um i like to keep communications open and things you know you always want to be open because if you feel in a way you can say say like listen that kind of but don't be a nag like yo every five minutes you complaining and having a list of things that the man or the the woman did to you and you hitting them up every five minutes now nah. and i'm not saying one two responses either because that don't really get you nowhere but you know just take it easy on them take it easy on them um yeah that's about it um 